Free BSD reviews, tutorials and gaming. Downloading Clonos from the uh, main website wasn't the fastest experience in the world. It was averaging out at one, roughly one megabit a second. Uh, and this is from their Russian uh, servers. Installing Clonus. Well, because it's based on FreeBSD, um, obviously you're getting the the install bit looks very much like a, an average install of a FreeBSD uh, system. Uh, apart from the change text, welcome to Clonus. Everything else really is just a standard FreeBSD install. Um, we're going to find right keyboard. Uh, there you are. Uh, just enter the name. Try and test, I think. Uh, one or two differences in the options. I want to get rid of the kernel debug. Uh, the Clonos components and lib32, yeah. I'll just go to AutoFS. Oh. Well, there's no UFS, just standard ZFS. Uh, install. Go to. Uh, there's only one disk, so. Uh, yeah. Just a stripe, no redundancy. No, no. Yeah, we're just, just going to leave that like that. Are we sure? Yes. Carry on. Right, yeah, I mean, there's only one or two differences. There was no UFS option, which kind of threw me a little bit, but uh, that's fine. That's okay. The Clonos. Should install quite quickly, I think. If it's just installed in the core components and uh, the Clonos extensions. Yes, yeah, reasonable size. Yeah. Nearly finished. Right, that shouldn't take two seconds for this, really. There we are. Choose a password. And again. Right, networking, yes, yes. Right, interesting little, no buffer space available. Interesting. Uh, no, leave that region, Europe, uh, London, no, Great Britain, sorry, Luxembourg, no, I don't want Luxembourg, nothing wrong with Luxembourg, but that's not the place we want, there we go, uh, skip it, skip it, mouse, I... Yeah, we'll do the time and it. No dump. Uh, DD trace, send mail, and syslogd. And users. Uh, Robo Nuggie. Right, and wheel. It's all pretty standard so far. No default is uh, shell. Yeah, yep, yep. Password again. No, yes. Uh, no. Right. That's fairly standard, fairly easy. Apply configuration and exit. Right, it's doing its thing now. Setting up the system. You normally don't see this on uh, when you do 3BSD standard. So this is like one or two extra little things added to it. Just looking at the things that they've added to it, it's quite interesting. If this goes on for a long time, I'll, uh, I'll fast forward it.
Ooh, purple. Or is it pink? Wrong horse name. Alright, okay. Horse name must not be equal to short name. Alright, okay. I need to alter that. Of course, he did say this in the actual uh, installation notes on the homepage because I didn't read it, but there you go. Okay, let's uh, let's put in a proper name. Yeah. Configure in jails. That's nice. Right. Uh, wasn't so bad apart from the uh, the horse name. I should have read the thing before I did it, but there you go. All done. Let's wait for it to reboot. Right, we're going to boot up again. Again, it just looks like a standard FreeBSD uh, system boot. I don't anticipate there'll be a, a GUI, it'll be just log into the text mode and then you access it via uh, a web browser. Let's log in. Welcome to Clonos uh, UI. Oh, that's very good, yes, it gives you the address there. Right, we're logging in. Uh, admin and the password that we created earlier. Admin being the standard uh, name to log in. Right. This looks all very uh, interesting. I've never used anything like this before. Overview. we got jail containers. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a look down each one. Um, and see what's what, I think. Nice little graph going on there. Hmm. Right, we'll have a look at the... Uh, Right, gigabytes, yeah, fairly standard. We'll have a look at the uh, jail containers. So you can create a jail, and import a jail. Template for jail, so if you've already got one that you like to use consistently. Um, all the ones that are available now, look. Memcached, PHP, and Redis. That's all very interesting. Uh, Behind virtual machines, uh, VM packages. Virtual private network. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Uh, authentic keys. Authorization, authorization keys. Storage media. If you've got anything added onto it. Uh, you can import images. FreeBSD bases. Oh no. There's one already there. And sources. If you want to change that. And tasking. Hmm. Oh, you can change that to light and dark. I, why you would want to do that, but that's quite handy. Uh, user. Oh, okay. I like how I think the essential things are on the top. It's not too cluttered. Log in. I've already logged in, but I'll uh, I'll log in again. See what happens. Probably nothing because I'm already logged in. Yeah, I didn't think it would do. So I logged in as uh, admin. Hmm. Memcast is a high performance distributed memory object caching system. Alright. PHP, which stands for PHP. Oh, not PHP is. Okay. It's all good. Uh, create a jail. Hmm. So if you want to do it via, um, I don't know, a more user friendly way, well, you can do it that way. Templates. Virtual machines. Hmm. Quite a lot to choose from. 
pre-configured, I imagine. Yeah, there's quite a lot there. It's an open BSD one as well, that's interesting. I'm going to try testing. I've not done it this way before, but uh, I'll have a go. I'm going to create a test machine. Test VM. Uh, yeah. Uh, virtual machine template. We'll use the uh, we'll use that one that's already there. It's good that you can actually choose different templates to save you some of the hassle of working out what to do. Um, yeah. We'll just keep it on the M0. We'll keep it on auto. Almost the default. Oh, well, okay, I'll sort the title out. Obviously, you can't put a hyphen in. Uh, yeah, okay. Should be alright now. Hence why it's gone green, which I think is a very good touch. So it's just creating it. That was fairly fast. You have to excuse me if I'm bumbling around, actually. Uh, this is the first time I've used it. Starting. Okay, that's not so bad. Starting a virtual machine within a virtual machine. Okay. Uh, templates. Uh, got about. I'll behave back to that. Not launched. Okay. So it creates it there. Uh, we'll start that one. Create from ISO. Oh, okay. Oh, we've already seen that bit, I think. Yeah. So we did earlier. Still saw profile ISO. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but not. Just in case. <laughs> right. Beehive. Here's various options that you can do. You can save them. Configure which some of the screen uh, is missing. Yeah. But that menu is missing from your screen, so you won't be able to see it. Uh, templates. Yeah, authentic keys. Storage media. Alright, okay. Hmm. You know, maybe I shouldn't have done that, never mind. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. I mean, it's a pretty... Um, it seems a very workman-like um, application or distribution. I think you can get this... Uh, you can actually get this as part of the normal uh, FreeBSD install, so you can actually install it from packages or ports. Um, essentially just... Uh, turning an existing FreeBSD install into uh, Clonos, but if you don't want to do that and you just want this, uh, you know, specific, uh, let's say, for a dedicated machine to this, then this is um, a good way to do it. It does replicate a lot of um, things that you could do via the command line on terminal, and it's. I actually prefer to do it that that way myself. But yeah. If you want a, a relatively user-friendly way of getting things done, um, Clonos is a, a, a wonderful um, addition to the FreeBSD-based family, I think. Yeah, there you go.